Hi friends, Suzanne here with a new mini series called Crafting at the Lake House. I started this one day local retreat back in 2019 and was finally able to open registrations for this fall of 2021 with more planned for the new year. So if you're local, I'd love to have you join in. Registrations will be on my blog, sunstampin.com. I asked a friend and fellow demonstrator, Terry, from carddesignsbyterry.com to help me with the event. We split the work, the costs, and brought together our local crafters for a first-class event. In this series, I'm sharing a dozen card designs we created for the make and takes at the event. Fair warning, some products are from the last celebration, so if you are looking to recreate, you may have to substitute. For today's card, I am featuring the Snow Buddy Better stamp set. I just don't have the stamp case to show you. So I started off with a piece of misty moonlight and I embossed it with the wintry 3D embossing folder. Now this folder is very skinny, so you have to sort of run this page through your embossing machine twice. This is the white one quarter crinkled seam binding ribbon. It's quite staticky. <laughs> I did struggle a little bit with it. Of course, I always joke that it takes me an hour to fuss with a knot or a bow, uh, but I did trim off the ends uh, eventually, just not on camera. So I'm going to adhere this panel to my basic white card base and I will adjust the ribbon as well after. Um, I kind of did this card backwards actually. The instructions that my friend Terry had given, I just, she probably said do all the stamping first and then glue everything together at the end. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm a rebel. So <laughs> that sentiment it says, uh, warm winter wishes. It's so cute. So we are using the stays on ink for this. And this was a little rectangle of basic white. It is not watercolor paper, but we are using our watercolor and blending pens. So this is the, the bigger set, the first set. And I colored it with my watercolor pencils and then I went in afterwards with my blending pen. This is a great technique. It doesn't make your paper too wet, but I will just leave you to watch me color and I'll come back at the end.
Okay, I'm back. And you can see here that I'm using a blending pen to blend out that smoky slate color. I'm also going in with uh, this gel pen just to because I colored that snowman's ear. And I don't know if you noticed this, but as I was coloring it, I saw that this snowman were gifting snowballs. Like how cute is that? Anyway, I used Wink of Stella to cover all the white portions of the snowmen and just a few final touch-ups. I put a dimensional adhesive on the back of this panel. I did have to adjust the, the, the seam binding ribbon a little bit. But that is pretty much the card. Super fun, nice technique with using the watercolor pencils and the blending pen. So you can see all of the supplies I used today listed below in the video see more section or in the supply section of my blog. Those fast links will take you to my Canadian online store. I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.